Hello our most valid student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the channel that is designed with you in mind and we are always focusing on anything to do with maths, with science as well as career guidance. So today I just wanted to bring you three things which I felt like these are important for you as you begin your studies. Three things that you must do so that at the end of the day you can guarantee yourself a good pass you know time and again we always panic last minute we always look at the time lost we always just wake up the next day there is no time left it's the end of the year and exams final exams are by the corner but the question is what did you do during the course of the year so as you begin your year i feel like these three things will help you navigate or they will help you drive you towards a determined goal what is the first point the first thing which i think you can do to ensure a good pass at the end of the year is to remember the five p's what does it say they say proper preparation prevents poor performance or proper planning prevents poor performance what are they trying to say some they usually put it in other in other ways and say the failure to plan is the plan to fail so what are they saying they're saying you need to have a plan you need to ensure that before you there is a plan on how you're going to achieve good grades the first plan of course is to attend your studies religiously make sure that you study set a timetable for yourself i rarely follow timetables but setting it already gives your mind or it sets up your mind to know that every day i must i must study so you can set up a timetable to say i'll do maths this time i'll do this subject this time i'll do this subject this time it is really rare that you follow it up to the point but the good part is there is a plan and you know what happens when you find yourself drifting out of your plan or sleeping more than is necessary you start getting a guilty have you felt like that guilty conscience to say i didn't do what i needed to do today that guilt is important for you because what is your subconscious telling you it is telling you you are out of plan you are not following your plan so what it does it gets you back back on plan so don't forget you need to plan point number two you guys need to set targets very very important point without targets you cannot hit a target that you can see if you don't have target even a 20 percent is a target Remember, if you fail to plan, you have planned to fail. So if you fail to plan, that 20% that you're going to get is what you have planned indirectly. Have you ever wondered at nature? For example, like I'm in nature here. Without planting anything, things naturally grow. So failing to plant does not mean that you won't find anything growing. Why? Because nature has a way of producing naturally. So same thing, if you fail to plan, nature will take over. And you are going to be a victim of your circumstances. But you don't want to be a victim. You want to be proactive. You want to push life. You want, guys, you have to push. In life, you have to push. Things don't just come easy. If things are coming easy, then everyone will be making it. So don't forget, you need to set targets. Ask yourself, what do I want to achieve at the end of the year? Ask yourself, what grades do I want to see in my report card? You know, you need to visualize. You need to write all your subjects. After writing every subject, then tell you, ask yourself, just, just close your eyes and ask yourself, for mathematics, for example, what mark do I want to get? That's where now usually they tell you about smart targets to say, number one, those targets must be simple, smart, S for simple, M, they must be measurable, you need to be able to measure them. That's why I'm saying, you need to ask yourself for each subject, you need to have a mark what specific mark do you want to get so they must be number one simple two measurable three achievable look at your surrounding i know you're gonna say but i'm very weak in maths there is no way i can achieve 80 percent well sometimes dreams do come true so they must be achievable they must be realistic and they must be time framed you know when you want to achieve that target is it in june exams is it in prelim exams for grade 12 or is it the end of the year november exams what do you want to be proud of what do you want your parents to be proud of what do you want to show to your friends so those targets are the ones that are going to 
bring in the desire to wake up at night and do what everyone else is failing to do, which is to study. Remember, this is your life on the line. Guys, we've got friends, we've got colleagues, we want to be famous, we want to be lovable, we want to fit in and everything. But remember, your life is your life. You need to set targets that are only meaningful to you. And those targets must make sure that they will take you to number three, your career. That's point number three. Now, in your career, you have set up a plan and you know it might not be clear now. You don't have to be clear on about your career. Some of us, we followed the career and at the end of the degree, we discovered not really that we wanted to do. And then we started seeing some passions that were starting to come out of whatever we're doing. And we didn't end up following the exact career path that we did at university. So what am I trying to say? You don't have to be specific from the word go, but you must keep searching. What is it that I want to do? What is it that I'm, why am I here? That question must always nag you. Sometimes it might even, it must, it might give, it must give you that kind of restlessness. Why am I here? That's the question. Now, some things will start, okay, for example, there is a hint that can show you why you're here. What is it that you spend your time mostly gravitating to or what you find yourself liking? It can be from the TV you're watching, from the YouTubes you're watching. Maybe you like these detective uh, shows, maybe you like these um, uh, science projects or you like anything that is coming in that you find yourself, I can spend hours doing this. It's a sign. There is, your, there is your assignment there. That's your assignment. So, whatever you find yourself easily getting along with and you are loving it. Guys, don't tell me, I like playing soccer. Okay, it's fine, but at what level, you know? Don't tell me, I love doing, I know, the careers, you know, I want to be a DJ, you know? I like doing it. Well, there are some who are meant to be the DJs, but don't just follow because someone else is doing it, okay? It must be, as I say, from deep inside. You must even have sleepless nights doing whatever you want to do without getting bored. So now, that is your what? That is your, 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 your career. That's your dream. That's your vision. So now, as I said, point number three, you need to prioritize the subjects that will impact heavily on your career. I repeat again. The subjects that you are doing at school, they must be aligned to your career. Those subjects must receive highest what attention if you are going to do anything to deal with uh, finance then accounting is going to be the subject that will take more priority more than even maths because you are the accountant in as much as math is the one but you cannot spend five days doing math and one day doing accounting you see it doesn't balance they must be valued all together because maths will impact on accounting but at the end of the day those subjects you cannot just let them as the rest of the other subjects why because your career depends on that even if you can pass distinctions on every other subject but your accounting you get a low mark and that's where you want to go guess what you are not going to achieve that so remember your subjects that are impacting heavily on your career you must prioritize now guys i'm going to end up by saying this you need to remember friends come and go if i can ask you where is your primary friend right now that's the question so now don't leave your life at the hands of your friend you need to take proactive decisions and make decisions that will only affect you in the future remember what you are doing today is the bed that you are laying which you are going to sleep on in the future another way of saying it is whatever you are planting now or today is what you are going to be reaping in the future or whatever you are having right now is what you planted yesterday so guys be careful on your choices choices mean everything so now the three things i'll repeat again number one you need to remember the five p's proper planning will prevent poor performance number two you need to remember to set targets very i mean there must be clear targets especially when it comes to your grades if you want to achieve 80 percent in maths you must be specific if you 
want to achieve 83%, write 83% in math, 55% in this subject, 93% in this subject. Understand? In as much as you are realistic, but you also can what? Stretch yourself. Don't aim low because when you aim low, you're going to hit the ground instead. Number three, the subjects that are impacting heavily on your career. Be careful of those subjects because they are the ones which will be your wings to your career. We have come to the end of our motivation. Remember guys, I always encourage you, let us subscribe to the 24 minute lesson. Let us reach out the, our mantra or our creed. The creed of 24 minute, 24 minute lesson says, reaching out is proof of passion. Now, what am I saying? Anything you reach out to is a sign you are passionate about. So reach out, reach out to your friends by you helping them achieve their goals. You need to reach out for your own life, reach out by studying, reach out to your teachers, reach out to any help you can find around you. Reach out like now, you are watching this YouTube, you are reaching out, you are trying to gather as much information as possible so that it can take you to your next level in life. So reaching out is proof of passion. So guys, we've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you. Join me again in our normal lectures where I'm teaching your maths, your science, and don't forget, drop me a comment. And guys, I opened an Instagram account. I didn't have Instagram, but now I saw that there was a need for you guys to send me your questions. And then I can work it out or do a quick video for you so that you can watch. So send me your questions on Instagram and my Insta handle is Confinquasi. And you, I almost said it Gmail, but it's Confinquasi. Just check it out. I also am um, putting it on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the... I'm putting it here so that you can be able to send me your ideas, send me your comments, your questions that you might be needing some solution. We have come to the end of our... Is it our lesson? No our career guidance. See you again next time.